Alright, well, welcome back to another episode of I Love Spiders' Minecraft Nightmare. I think we're on episode 23. It's 23 or 24. I just got back to the village after a pretty normal caving expedition, which naturally involved lots of spawners and dungeons and bad things happening to me. And I don't know if these guys have started to reproduce yet. I'm trying to check. I gave them a little bit of time. I, frankly, I didn't want to be around for that. I don't think they have, because I don't see any kids yet, so... Still going to have to work on adding some more doors to this place. Not sure how I'm going to do that. I might just have a building just have like tons of doors around it. I think they're still going to give me crappy trades. Yeah. Crappy trades. I forgot to show you guys the dungeon loot that I got. I got two pairs of diamond leggings. Thank you, Sparks Tweaks mod. I got one of the records. Since I left all of them back at my old base, and then I could probably use some more out here. I got two diamonds, I got a book, powered rails I think came out of a mine shaft chest, so. But this is the stuff that I have. I still have the powered bow, I don't remember where I got that. I might have gotten it out of a dungeon, I might have been a rare drop from a skeleton, I don't remember off the top of my head at this point. And apparently I got eggs. Which I think is kind of unusual dungeon loot. Alright, nobody's inhabiting that house. These are not all crammed into one building. I've had villages where if it starts raining, all the villagers try to cram to like a 5x5 five five building, and it's just ridiculous. Oh, somebody got in the ugly house where I was hunkering down from Slenderman. I don't know if anybody's using this one. Nope, nobody will touch this house over here. Maybe I should have adopted that one as my own. Anyway, I don't have a lot of building materials on me, so I'm probably going to work on my tree farm a little bit. Work on getting a couple more doors on these buildings. And we'll see if we get anything from there. Now, I think I'm on 1.4 at this point. I don't remember off the top of my head. I know I reinstalled the Sparks Tweaks mod. So. I don't have the Slenderman one on anymore because I just started a new series based on that. It'd be kind of repetitive to have it on in this series, too. So. If you're watching my Slender Reimagined failed attempts there, then that's why I took it off this particular one. Cause it's getting kind of old. I'm going to be looking for some new mods. Let's go ahead and store this stuff here. I think I'll cut down some trees, make some more doors, and I will be right back. Oh crap, a spider jockey. Just so I did not want to see. Sorry, spider. Oh, now it's just a skeleton. You don't see those guys very often, so I thought I just wanted to show you. Originally, it was over there. And then the skeleton actually almost got suffocated on the surface of that cave over there. It was kind of funny. So. Yeah, so far it's been a couple of Minecraft days. Nothing too exciting's happened yet. I don't have an iron golem walking around, at least not that I know of. So. Still working on expanding this place. I think I've only had an iron golem spawn once. These guys aren't even reproducing yet, so. I think that might be the problem. Yeah, I haven't seen any kids yet. So. I guess I also have to keep building on this. And I also updated my wall of horribleness. Now it's I Love Spiders' wall of horribleness too. And I believe we were up to nine dungeons back at my old base. And I found two over here, so I upped that up to 11. And I think we were up to about 25 cave spider spawners. So for now I'm just putting 30, because I did find five of those on the last cave run. Right now, I'll correct it later if it's wrong, but I think these are the right numbers, so we'll go from there. I won't really know until I go back and look at my old wall of horribleness, what it actually was, so I'm just counting the best I can. I'm really shocked it's only been 11 dungeons so far, and we're up to episode 23, so we're averaging about half a dungeon per episode, so for me, that's a little bit slow. Eat some food here. So far, we haven't had any zombie sieges yet, which I guess is a good thing, because they do knock down doors and damage them. And they will start killing off the villagers. Though it might actually be welcome at this point, because nothing is really happening out here. So. Three, three of them just crammed in that one little building. Oh, nobody's in there. They tend to go in this one more. Yeah, there's two of them in here. I don't know how many are in here. Ooh, free bookshelves. I never even thought about that until now. How did a mushroom grow on that workbench? I've never seen that before. Huh, that's interesting. I guess the mushrooms still do spread, because that wasn't on there before. I think there was one mushroom in here before. I can never get my mushroom farm back at the 
old base to work. I put, put like five brown mushrooms in it and it never expanded or anything, so huh. That's kind of weird. Alright, I remember what I have installed now. The tornado mod is back. The glitches have been fixed. It's just started to rain, so I'm like, I'm gonna get away from the village make sure it's not in a chunk that's loaded. So, just in case the tornado does come along, I don't have to worry about it too much, so... Just doing a little bit of exploring here. I decided to come out and look for some emeralds since I haven't had an iron golem spawn quite yet. Sorry about that noise right there. So I'm just trying to find a dungeon. Oh no. I'm not even caving and I find a dungeon. Sounds like a zombie dungeon, so nothing too horrible. Yes, Minecraft, I get the point. This better not be a ripoff spawner. Oh, you're about to beat me with rotten flesh? Yuck. It's not a very big dungeon, is it? Oh, just a little one. <laughs> I haven't found an open surface spawner in a while. Usually they're farther underground now since the update. Now we do have wind, so... I'm not sure how to turn it off because something changed with the config files and... Whoa! That's a lot of good stuff. I'll take it. An efficiency to axe? I've never had one of those before. It's an awful lot of lapis. Thank you, Sparks Tweaks. I know I've said that before, but I can't emphasize that enough. Alright, I'm hearing more zombies somewhere. Not sure where they're coming from, so there's probably some more cave down here to explore. Sounds like they're more to my left, because I'm wearing a headset right now. I hate moss stone. I don't want it. Yep, they're down here. Please say this isn't a double spawner again. Is this a double spawner again? It is! Ah, oh, good job, I love spiders. Good job. <sighs> Second I hit the record button. At least it's not a creeper spawner. That was frightening. And terrifying. Oh, I gotta get on the edge of it here. I love double spawners. Alright, nope. Still on the edge there. So, you guys are getting an interesting episode today. I think this is my first double spawner of this world. Not my first double spawner ever, but... If I'm here in this dungeon from the other dungeon, I consider it to be a double spawner. Hello, zombies. And I think... Oh, whoa. You guys must be really eager to die. I also wanted to mention I got my first potato a couple minutes before I hit the record button while I was wandering through the mountain biome. So I got my first rare drop from a zombie. Come over here. I'm trying not to knock out the torch by mistake. That would suck. I wonder what kind of stuff this has in it. Let's light it up extra well there. Okay. Is this a triple spawn or two? It doesn't appear to be, because I don't hear any more mobs going off. Alright. I don't know if there's anything else to see down here. Now I am looking for some iron and some emeralds while I'm down here. So I'm having trouble getting an iron golem to actually spawn, so I might actually have to physically make one. Ah, uh, double spawners. Oh, I gotta eat. I meant to haul this stuff back to base anyway. Let's we'll see what's in here. More... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Golden axe. Iron pickaxe, an enchanted iron pickaxe, so... Great mod. This makes me hate dungeons a little bit less. Alright, I'm going to have to mark this off and kind of haul this stuff back to base. I can't cram it all into my inventory. That's the one disadvantage to this mod. Is you get so much good stuff it doesn't stack. You just can't carry it with you. I can carry some of it with me, but not a lot. 
Well, I guess I can drop off stuff I don't really care about. Like the cobble. Don't know if I need that many bows, but I'll take the arrows. Slam balls are useful for some things. There's my first potato. And I really want to keep all the cobblestone with me for building. Even though I know I don't do that very often. Alright, I will take the enchanted stuff. And I think I'm going to wait in here until the storm's done with, just in case there is a tornado it doesn't trash the village. Because I want to... I wanted to kind of get far away from it when it started to rain. For obvious reasons, that way if there is a tornado, it won't be in that chunk. Because yes, I love scary mods and difficult mods and everything, but... I really don't want a tornado to run over my village. I don't want one to run over me now that I have all this good stuff in my inventory. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty close to being a double spawner. Looks like both spawners are active at the same time. Right now, oh, I was about to say I thought it quit raining. Let me just... Oh, I don't want to hack that out. Yeah. I'd say this is a double spawner. Good job. Okay. I think I'm going to wait out the storm in here. And either when it's done... Or when it does something really terrible, I'll come right back. Alright, looks like the annoying onslaught of rain has stopped. There weren't any tornadoes. What I did was I just went ahead and crammed all the really good stuff back in here for now. Just in case I do get killed. I kind of marked off this little shadow cave with torches. This won't be difficult to find again because it's not too horribly far from the village. So I thought I saw another cave entrance down that way. I'm going to check out because I would like to get some emeralds and some iron. Make an iron golem. I don't see any dungeons, but you know how my luck is. Apparently there's a desert over there I might want to explore too. I'm going to just go take a peek real quick. Oop, there are a lot of open caves in here. Sorry I can't turn off an annoying wind. Make sure it's not a tornado. I think they fixed that so it's not always at the end of the storm anymore. So that'll be good. Make them a little bit more random. Alright, I don't see any desert temples out here. I don't think I found one on this world yet. I found one jungle temple, but that's about it. Which, by the way, had a dungeon attack. Not, no, not that one. That was a different world. The no cobblestone challenge. I had a desert temple house that ironically had a dungeon attached to it. And that was after I decided to make it my house. I found out that it had a dungeon attached to it. So let's get down in the caves here. Away from this annoying zombie. So I think... I'd rather take this one over here because it's more in the middle of the extreme hills biome. And let's not go near those creepers. Oh. Okay, good enough. I forgot how powerful power bows are. Great. Yeah, these guys are definitely smarter now. I don't want to go up there and fight them with a sword. Alright, let's head on down. See what kinds of good stuff is down here. There's a skeleton. Ow. Alright, no dungeons so far. But you know how it is. Iron, I do need that. So what I'm probably going to do is, unless I find something really fascinating pretty quickly, I'm probably going to stop, you know, commenting and just cut a lot of this out like I did with the last episode. Hopefully it won't end up being another musical spawner montage like the last one was. And how likely is that? No, 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 no! Ah, oh, I hate creepers. I'll back up like a late year from them and they'll still blow up. So it's like, what do you do? Right. This looks like a pretty expansive cave system, too, so... I think I'll shut up at this point and, you know, just bring you back in as things happen.
I love spiders does it again. Ironically, this one's a spider dungeon. I was wondering why I was hearing multiplying spider noises. It's a pretty big dungeon, too. Alright, let's light it up. I think I probably better close this off. Just in case some other mobs come wandering in. That has been known to happen, especially with creepers. Okay, I think I'm pretty safe for now. Alright, I will take that stuff. Protection 3. I've never had a chain chest plate before. Diamond, another enchanted iron pickaxe. And I will take that stuff too. So. Oh, what's the shovel? Efficiency and unbreaking 2 for the shovel. So, huh. Too bad it's only a stone shovel, but hey, it's better than nothing. I'll take the food. Take the seeds. I, how am I going to cram all? Oh, of course I get some string. It's a spider dungeon, of course. I have to get string. That's like one of the laws of physics. If I lose spiders, finds a spider dungeon, it has to have string in it. Still, this stuff's pretty good. I won't sneeze at it. So this is, what, the third dungeon of the episode? So I'm back on track. I'm doing pretty normal now. And I can't fit any more of this stuff. Let's get rid of the rotten flesh. Yeah, I almost just want to climb up back to the surface now and go store this stuff. <coughs> Let's take the chest with me, too. Do I have the axe still? Yes, I do. I guess I can use that up and free up an inventory slot. Oh. Something's got to go. I'll get rid of the seeds. Just so I can pick up the chests. Alright, I'm probably going to have to take a break right here. So I think I'll call this an episode for now. I don't know how far underground I am, but I'm probably going to make some ladders back up to the surface just so I can access this. I don't want me running around this cave with all this stuff in my inventory. I mean, great stuff and everything. I hear a skeleton having a swim party somewhere. I hope it's not multiplying skeletons. So far, it doesn't seem to be, so... Oh, there's some iron that I need right there. So it's going to be kind of boring boring watching me, you know, tunnel back up to the surface just to run this stuff back up. So I think I'll cut a lot of that out. I mean, I'll keep the record button down just in case, you know, something happens. Let's throw it on a workbench here. Alright, go ahead and craft some ladders. And I can't fit all that in my inventory, so... Gonna have to play musical chairs in my inventory at the moment. I think 24 will be enough to get me back up to the surface, so... I'm not sneezing at that. Shut up, zombies. I think I'm still in the extreme hills, so... Yep, it's gonna be an adventure trying to get out of here. So I think I'm gonna take a little break at this point. Tunnel out. And I will see you again when I finish doing that.